Whenever there is a discontinuity in a horizontal walking surface that is greater than 30 inches, some sort of guard must be placed there so that people aren't injured. This rule shows up in building codes under the section on means of egress, but applies to all walking surfaces that people can walk on. Here's what the 2012 International Building Code says, for example. Guards shall be located along open-sided walking surfaces, including mezzanines, equipment platforms, stairs, ramps, and landings that are located more than 30 inches, measured vertically to the floor or grade below at any point within 36 inches horizontally to the edge of the open side. Milstein Hall contains several of these dangerous and unprotected ledges, including here, adjacent to the loading dock and overlooking the sunken garden. While not intended as a walkway, there are no guards preventing a small child from walking along the glass guardrail and falling off the edge, a distance greater than the 30 inches permitted by the code. Another example occurs in the auditorium, where guardrails have been provided but are ignored by students looking for places to sit. Designing a new auditorium that cannot even accommodate all the students in the Department of Architecture is a puzzling programming decision. Here, students required to be in attendance for start of the semester studio presentations find seats in the aisles, illegally blocking the egress path as the dean of the college watches. Music